maybe you heard you shouldn't believe everything you're told, but how about things that have long been told to you, like years in the making? Here's some facts that turned out not to be facts at all. Facts we should finally quit believing. 22. The Talk of Napoleon's Height In cartoons and movies and even in school, Napoleon gets portrayed as being extremely short. Although nowadays, you wouldn't consider him necessarily tall, the truth is that there's more evidence to suggest that Napoleon Bonaparte was 5'7 and not 5'2. Sure, 5'7 in the modern era for men is considered slightly below average, but that doesn't make Napoleon as short as he's usually thought to be. With the heel of his boots, he walked around closer to 5'8 anyway. 21. Humans explode in space. As a kid, you might have heard the other students in your class frightfully tell each other that human bodies explode in space without a spacesuit on. That's false, of course. You can't blame kids. Movies like to show awful things happening in space, like instantaneous endings for characters once they touch space air. However, in truth, a human body still has a chance of survival after being exposed in space for up to half a minute. Asphyxiation is more likely than explosion. 20. Organic food is all good. When you see food like produce labeled as organic, that brings to mind the freshest, most pure, all-natural piece of food you could possibly have. Want to know something? Just because something is labeled as organic doesn't mean that the suppliers didn't use pesticides. Organic is in no way synonymous with pesticide-free. If you want fruits and vegetables that are pesticide-free, make sure you look for labels that explicitly state they didn't use any. 19. Fat is bad. Too much is bad for sure. Overweight bodies and obesity, of course, causes your body harm. But don't just think that any kind or ounce of fat is going to do bad things to your body. It all started with the healthcare craze near the last two decades of the 20th century, when people were running around in neon spandex doing aerobics, crash dieting, and avoiding any kind of fat in foods. You need to remember that there's different kinds of fat, and the ones you should avoid as much as possible are trans fats, since those are chemically processed. 18. Cleopatra was African. Where is Egypt? Africa. Where did Cleopatra rule? Egypt. So therefore she's Egyptian, right? Not so. Although Cleopatra was Egyptian by virtue of being from and living in Egypt, Cleopatra actually comes from the lineage of Ptolemy I Soter, Alexander the Great's general from Macedonian Greece. This makes Cleopatra Greek, not ethnically Egyptian. 17. The length of gum digestion. Children get warned all the time not to swallow gum because that little piece of candy will lodge itself in your stomach and not be able to be digested for seven years. In truth, gum will not sit in your stomach for years and will actually go straight through your system. Bubble gum and chewing gum are indigestible, so it's not going to take seven years to digest since that's impossible. 16. Sun and Summer Whenever someone complains about the heat in the summer, there's always that one person that has to explain it's because the Earth orbits closer to the sun during the summertime. That person isn't entirely correct, but it sure sounds correct. The orbit of the Earth itself does not cause the season, but the tilt of the orbital axis does. So when the Earth's axis points towards the sun, then that part of the Earth experiences summer. 15. Chemicals are evil. No one wants chemicals in their food, which causes people concerned with staying healthy to avoid any food that has chemicals. What does chemicals even indicate, though? Everything in the world is made up of chemicals. The real trick is figuring out what chemicals are actually the bad ones. 14. Bulls hate red. Why else would Matador sport those red socks and wave those red flags if it didn't infuriate bulls? Turns out, bulls don't hate red. Uh, some bulls might. We don't presume to speak for all bulls. But in general, there's no evidence that the color red enrages them. If anything, the movement and taunting of the flag is what irks bulls, not the color. 13. Venus, Earth's twin. Sci-fi stories like to imagine what it would be like to live on Venus. It's close in distance to Earth, it's about the same size, and is similar in composition. They both appear to be rocky planets and have atmospheres around their bodies. Even though they're described as twins, Venus and Earth aren't exactly identical. For one, it'd be toxic for humans to live on Venus, so Mars colonization seems like the way to go if humanity leaves Earth. 12. Cut those carbs. Losing weight means exercise and a change in diet and overall lifestyle. One way people swear by losing weight is to cut carbs completely. No bread, no rice, no pasta. What kind of way of living is that? Anyways, it's impossible to avoid all carbs ever because you can find carbohydrates in vegetables and fruits, so if you cut carbs, you're basically drinking water. It's also been said that restricting food groups isn't always the best way to diet because it could backfire on you and you'll end up craving it and maybe binging.
11. Disney drew Mickey Mouse. That is false. Walt Disney was not the first person to draw Mickey Mouse. Cartoonist, animator, and inventor Eb Ert of Iwerks was the one who created and first illustrated the famous mouse. Mickey Mouse became so iconic that you can recognize him just by the shape of his head, which is made up of like three circles. 10. See China's Great Wall from Space Don't get us wrong, the Great Wall of China is huge. It measures to about 13,171 miles long, or 21,196 kilometers, with a height ranging between 16.5 feet to 26.3 feet, or 5 to 8 meters depending on the portion of the wall. It's a big structure for sure. One so massive, it earned the name of a Great Wall. Even with its dimensions, however, the Great Wall of China cannot be seen from space. 9. Avoid harmful GMOs Left and right, consumers are avoiding the purchase of food that certainly contain or could contain GMOs. GMO stands for Genetically Modified Organism, which includes plant foods like fruits and vegetables, to livestock like chicken and cattle, to even salmon. When something counts as a GMO, that means scientists genetically engineered it. With all the anti-GMO sentiment out there, as far as science journals and reports have found, there is no evidence to show GMO foods were less safe than non-GMO foods. 8. The sun burns We characterize the sun as being this huge ball of fire. That's not technically wrong. We're also here to tell you that technically the sun is not burning. The heat generated by the sun is not a chemical reaction, which is what burning is. Instead, the light of the sun comes from a nuclear reaction. So really, the sun glows and doesn't burn. 7. Stock up on that vitamin C When you start feeling like you're getting a cold, people tell you to stock up on that vitamin C and consume as much as you can so that you can prevent or maybe even cure your cold. That slice of orange or emergency or even vitamin C supplements are a false sense of security. Huge doses of vitamin C doesn't really do much to help your apparent cold. The immune system does benefit from it, but it doesn't just gain superpowers because you drank a bunch of orange juice. 6. Van Gogh's Whole Ear Poor Van Gogh. He wasn't famous enough while he was alive, and even in his infamy, people like to talk about how crazy he was. Well, at least in reality, he didn't cut off his whole ear. We all know that story, how he cut his ear off and gave it to a woman. People get it wrong, though. He only cut off part of his left ear, the lower half to be specific. It was the winter of 1888, and Van Gogh gave it to a brothel worker in France whom he instructed to take care of the object. Still out of the ordinary, but again, not the whole ear. 5. The Dark Side of the Moon Sorry, Pink Floyd fans, there's not really a dark side of the moon. What remains true is how the same side of the moon faces the Earth. The Earth and moon are linked tidally, and it's staying on the same side keeps things stable for us Earthlings. To say that the other side we don't see is completely dark and that there's a whole civilization or weird stuff happening over there isn't true. Or at least, if there is weird stuff going on on the other side, it's not in complete darkness. The other side of the moon gets sunlight half the time, too. 4. Bananas grow on trees. No, they don't. We like to popularly refer to what bananas grow on as trees, but really, bananas grow on an herbaceous plant, also called an herb. It does sound weird to say bananas grow on herbs, so we don't blame whoever referred it to as otherwise. The banana plant does not have woody tissue, and it just grows on a stem, not a tree trunk. Bananas do grow on plants that can measure up to 30 feet high, so it can be as tall as a tree, yet it seems we are slaves to technicalities and details. 3. Go on a juice cleanse Nope, don't do that. Contrary to the popular belief about 5 years ago that you should juice cleanse as a way of getting to detox, health experts advise the opposite. The trend of juicing got popular as a way not only to rid your body of toxins, but also to lose weight. Don't get mystified by all the nutrients from the fruit you think you're gaining, however. You're essentially starving yourself if you only drink juice for however long. By juicing a fruit, you also remove the fiber you would have gotten if you just ate it. Juice itself is fine to drink and can be healthy, but you miss out on a lot of things you would get from the whole fruit. When you juice, you just get more of just flavor, water, and sugar. 2. Into the black hole Wait a minute, you can't really go into a black hole. Black holes aren't even really holes. They just appear that way because of the color, but black holes are actually a super dense object in space that pulls things towards it. Scientists from the University of South Carolina and from the U.S. Department of Energy's Los Alamos National Laboratory explain that black holes are more like bubbles. Dense bubbles, if you will. These dense bubbles possess powerful gravitational fields, one that even light cannot escape from. What could number one be? First, 
Let's ask you this. What popular fact from your childhood are you now rethinking to be true? Let us know in the comments below. All right, let's continue. One, vaccines cause autism. Here we go, the debate of the last couple years. Vaccine rates amongst children have been dropping as of late, and you have the idea that vaccines cause autism to thank for that. According to the CDC, studies show that a link between vaccines or a vaccine ingredient and autism does not exist. Science-based medicine, WebMD, Autism Speaks, and journals included in the NCBI all show that vaccines do not do this, much to the popular belief of many people nowadays. The false claim goes as far back as the 90s after a study published in Lancet said there was a link between the two. That claim has been debunked for a long time now, with the leading doctor of that study, Andrew Wakefield, banned from practicing medicine in Britain and discredited. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell for more.